Hello, it's been a little while since I posted a video, but um, here's the latest one. Um, different sort of airbrushing technique. Going to make use of a shoe box. Um, the packaging had nice little shapes and patterns in it. I'm probably just going to use the little tiny slots and, and this circle. Um, try to get something a bit different. Hopefully it'll work. If it doesn't, um, as with all the experiments, it can just be sanded off and start the game. Anyway, hope you enjoy the video. The rim has been turned, sanded down to 400. Light coat of acrylic sanding sealer that's been cut back, ready for the colour. I'm going to start with a backdrop of just a light green, uh, which I'm just going to airbrush on. strange little templates. I'm going to start off with this one. Dust on the plate and a bit of orange. I think really I would have liked a thinner line. I might have to make some other templates up. But that's now trying to go for gaps and also to overlay. quite like bits going over the edge. I'm going to do another colour. Oh, a bit too much spray on that one might run down a bit. Okay, here we are <coughs> next stage. Um, there's quite a marked difference between the outer rim and the inner rim. I'm going to try to address that with some more circles with yellow, see what that gives us. Getting a very faint outline of the circle. Change color. <clears throat> well, as an experiment, I'm quite pleased with it. The technique at least has been practiced and I can do some refining of it, I think. Um, I think it needs a little bit more contrast in the colours, maybe some black. I'll give it some thought. If you've got any ideas, leave me some comments. Uh, it'd be great to hear from you. Thanks for watching.